CTV News executive producer Barry Wilson with his take on Pasta Gate. I like to live dangerously in Quebec. I like my pasta al dente. It's not really something that's supposed to be written on a menu in restaurantes in Quebec. As we found out this week, there are illegal pasta menus. And we should all be concerned. Now, the folks over at Buonanotte were horrified to find they were under investigation for daring to put some Italian on their menu. Odd for an Italian restaurant. My guess is most right-thinking people, though, won't get their noodles in a knot over this. Unless you are an overzealous bureaucrat working for the language cops. A bureaucrat with obviously far too much time on his hands. Now, the language office kind of reminds me of that old Monty Python skit, the Ministry of Silly Walks. <laughs> now, the ministry is the place where government employees basically are paid to walk silly and to award grants to citizens who can come up with, well new silly walks. Does that remind you of anything? Like perhaps our language office? No, come on, if they want to make Quebec the laughing stock of the world, they're doing a pretty good job. What's next on the list for these people? English muffins, souflakis, shish tau, fish and chips. Perhaps it will be that sacred symbol of fast food in Quebec, the exalted hot dog. I mean, I think ordering de stime would be heresy in their eyes. Really, it's quite clear that the government and the language zealots are in denial. Denial that Montreal is a bilingual city. We are treated worse than children sometimes. Non-Francophone taxpayers should be neither seen nor heard. Just keep that money coming in. The OQLF just gets dumb and dumber. Perhaps we should laugh it all off. It is amusing, but really, the subtext is not. You see, under Bill 14, language inspectors will be given more power extraordinary powers to search and seize, more power to hunt down anything English. Anglos have become sport. They love squeezing us until we cry uncle. From door signs posted by businesses and NDG to bike shops in the plateau that dare post English signs. Is that the kind of society we truly want to live in? A society where everything is seen through the optics of language and the perceived threat to French purity. Now, there is much to fear with the PQ's new legislation. It is designed not so much to bolster French, but to once again diminish us. Give me the Ministry of Silly Walks any time. Truly, it is funnier. I'm Barry Wilson, and that is CTV Postscript for this week. And Postscript can also be heard every Saturday morning on CJD 800, right after the 7.30 news.